In Paint Shop Pro 2020, an annoying bug was introduced. Custom keyboard shortcuts are not saved when exiting the program. There is a workaround, involving saving, and loading custom workspaces. This is more of an intermediate level tutorial, so I will not spend a lot of time explaining every detail. I always work on the complete workspace, under the edit tab. But it should be the same for any other workspace. Before anything else, I have set last view as my default view, in the preferences tabs dialog. Like so. What we have here is the default complete workspace. Let me customize it a bit. For starters, I set the Learning Center palette, to Auto Hide mode. Then I close the Organizer palette, because I rarely use it. Next, I open the Scripts palette, and I dock it right next to the standard toolbar. Nice! Lastly, I want to keep just the Edit tab at the top of the screen. So, I am hiding the Manage and the Adjust tabs, in the Preferences dialog. I will keep last view as default, before restarting Paint Shop Pro. We're back in PSP, and everything we customized has survived. That's because we set last view as the default, in the preferences. Now, let's try to customize a few keyboard shortcuts. The very first one I always change, is Ctrl V. By default it is assigned to the, paste as new layer, command but I prefer it to execute paste as new image, instead. So, let me do just that. In the View Customize dialog, under the Keyboard tab, I set Category to Edit. Then in the Commands pane, I locate Paste as New Layer, and I remove Ctrl V from its shortcuts list. Next, I remove Ctrl Shift V from the shortcuts list of paste as new image, and I add Ctrl V instead. Lastly, I add Ctrl Shift V as a shortcut for paste as new layer. Good. They are reassigned indeed. Let's restart Paint Shop Pro again. We're back again. But unfortunately, the keyboard shortcuts have switched back to their default values. They were not supposed to. The rest of our customization is still here. This bug was introduced in version 2020 of Paint Shop Pro. I think after applying update 1. It is supposed to get fixed in version 20, 21. To get around this, we can save the workspace, and load it on demand. But first let me quickly change again the keyboard shortcuts. Now let me save the workspace. File, Workspace, Save. I don't want to save any open images, so I leave the corresponding box unchecked. Let's call it, New Workspace 2020, and restart the program one more time. As expected, the shortcuts have switched back to their default values. But as soon as we load our saved, New Workspace 2020, the shortcuts get updated. Before loading a workspace, Paint Shop Pro will ask if we like to save the current one, but we should not. And here it is. Our custom shortcuts are now available, along with the rest of our changes. We can keep customizing the workspace. Just remember to save the workspace with the new customizations. So, this is the main idea. If you find it tiresome to load the workspace from the menu, you can use its keyboard shortcut. Shift, Alt, L. Or you can bring it out, as an icon, on any of the toolbars. Let me quickly show how. From the View menu, select Customize. Inside the dialog, under the Commands tab, select the file category. Then to the right, scroll down the Commands list, until you find the Load command. Drag it on one of the toolbars, and close the dialog. Done. Don't forget to save the workspace.
I'm replacing the one we have, but you can save a new one if you want to. Let me now restart PaintShop Pro. Once again, keyboard shortcuts have been reset. We can now use our newly created icon to load the saved new workspace 2020. The shortcuts get updated. If one customized workspace is all we need, and it is always saved with the same name, then we can load it with a single click. Here's how. First we record the loading process, as a script. I'll name it, Load New Workspace 2020. Next, we open the Customize dialog, and under the Scripts tab, we bind the script to an icon. Once we do that, we can drag it to the toolbar. Just like we did with the load workspace command. Which by the way, I can now remove, by dragging it out of the toolbar. That's it. We can now save the workspace, making sure we replace the older version. Let me now restart PaintShop Pro, for a last time. We know by now that keyboard shortcuts have been reset. We also know, they get updated, once we load the workspace. And now, that's just one click away. Like so. PaintShop Pro's ability to save and load custom workspaces, helped us to get around the issue with the lost shortcuts, in version 2020. Alternatively, we can create a shortcut of the workspace file itself, on the Windows desktop. We can then double click on that shortcut to run PaintShop Pro. It will load the workspace automatically. Personally I'm using the script approach, because the desktop shortcut has other issues. For example, we cannot drag a image on it, to open it inside PaintShop Pro. Also, when we double click on a PSP image file, PaintShop Pro runs, and it loads the file. But the lost keyboard shortcuts issue comes back anyway. If you are not using version 2020, you don't need to take any extra steps. I hope today's tutorial will enable you to customize your workspaces according to your liking, regardless of the PaintShop Pro version you are using. Thank you for watching.